Hi, I'm Ken Lobb, the creative director for Microsoft Game Studios, and I'm here today to show you Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. So here we are in Spiral Mountain. You may remember it from the beginning of uh, both games. Now Banjo's house is slightly dilapidated. The sound design in this video is premature. Mm -hmm. So there's missing sound effects, there's missing music, but it's pretty, so why don't you go ahead and run it. Mm -hmm. The thing that struck me coming out of the Gamers Day, both at Rare and in San Francisco, was that mm -hmm. most people understood that it was still Banjo, but there's obviously a question out there of, hey, is this Banjo? Is it a racing game? Is it a cart game? I don't really understand what's, what's going on based on some of the screenshots or videos we saw. Actually, it's, it's very much still a platformer. Okay, so there's a little bit more to that, but we figured we'd jump right ahead. So I'm going to show you later also some of the stuff you do in Showdown Town, but there's two primary things that you do in Showdown Town. One is you collect the parts so that you can build better vehicles, and the other is you open up the actual game levels. So the first piece they're going to show here is what it's like to grab a box and what you do with it. You basically, there's crates of parts spread all throughout Showdown Town. You bring them over here, you talk to Mumbo, and he'll put them into your inventory so that you can use them to build, which is what you did when you were uh, doing the multiplayer offsite. More importantly, though, you use Showdown Town as the hub world, and you, you gain access to the game worlds through the hub world. So you start out, you have a vehicle that's not very good, doesn't go very fast, can't jump, can't go up steep slopes, which is why he's taking this kind of long way around to get up to the top. Uh, after you've dabbled for just a couple of minutes, Log comes out and he tells you, okay, I want you to come meet me up at this place. I'll tell you what you need to do next, which is right here. If you notice off to his right, there was this, this thing. That's called a game globe. These are the, literally their representations of the worlds that you're going to play in. So in order to play in them, though, first you have, to, you have to take it and you have to find your way over to the stand put it on, and then throughout Showdown Town, doors will open that you get access to based on how many jiggies you have. So I think the way you unlock this game is very elegant. You know, it's, it's like, like previous platformers, if you think about just Banjo in the past, you had this weird maze of an overworld that you unlocked by going through doors that had note numbers on them. So as you gathered certain numbers of notes inside the levels, you could get to a bigger and bigger piece of the world. Mm -hmm. This game, they, they turned it completely into a platformer, where the world, this, this world, Showdown Town, is locked only by the abilities of your vehicle, you know, of the things that you are able to add. So this, for example, right here, this, it's, right here's the Game Globe place that you saw in the video, but he had to go up the back way because he didn't have the sticky tires yet. As you can see, Showdown Town is pretty big. So this vehicle has a couple of abilities. It has a float, so I can go in the water. It has the spring to jump, and it has a laser. I won't explain to you why you'll need lasers. We'll save that one for maybe another day. See these cranes? There's a big crane on the left, and there's two cranes on the right. You can see on the cranes on the right that it has the little box icon. Yeah, I want to get one of those. Those are probably kind of good. The primary function that uh, Kazooie has in the game is she carries this wrench, and the wrench is used for many different things. One of the things that the wrench is used for is to turn these devices. So you basically grab with the wrench, and then you twist the controller around, and it'll move different things in the game. So I'll shake my box free. There's other gameplay in this in Showdown Town besides just find boxes and put the game globe down. And one of them is being shown to you right now by the somewhat angry police force. So if you look over here, little gumball machine looking thing with a zero in it. So that's a jiggy dispenser. So when you go into when you go into one of your worlds, like what you'll do today to collect jiggies, you don't just get the jiggy. You get the jiggy out of game world and put into the jiggy dispenser. At first it's simple. I just have to come over here. I have to do my typical grab the thing and spin it and a jiggy will pop out right here. And then I can put it up and then I carry it over to that and it sticks the jiggies up into this device. This is showing 100 because I cheated my way, right? So you, you just carry the jiggy here and it floats up. The number of jiggies you have 
determines which one of these doors, the doors that are up. See, there's one right there. There's one over there. Those have jiggy requirements, kind of like Banjo and Banjo Tooie. So your very first door, you can go in with zero jiggies, but every door after that, you're gonna need multiple jiggies to get into. 